Just Trying to Survive and Learn to Love Along the Way by Foreplay on AO3. Episode 29, Chapter 29 of Hiding and Rescues. Izuko hides for the rest of lunchtime, successfully avoiding his classmates. He shows up to the hero studies early and finds All Might already present. Young Midoriya, just the boy I wanted to see. Great. Izuku stays silent, allowing All Might to continue. Aizawa told me you can't participate today, so I was hoping you'd give me a hand with this class. That is not at all what Izuku was expecting. What do, do you need help with? All Might smiles widely at that, pleased that Izuku is on board so far. Well, I've planned some rescue training at Ground Grandma. Originally, I was going to race to see who could rescue me first. But since you're out of commission, I was hoping they could rescue you. That way, I can monitor what's happening a lot easier. That's actually not a bad idea. Sounds like f fun. Perfect. You can go ahead and get changed into your gym uniform and head over to Ground Gamma. I will meet you there shortly. Everyone else will probably be wearing their hero costumes. Izuku can't wait until his new one is finished. He worked on it this weekend with Shota and Isashi, and the bros submitted it this morning for him. Izuku slowly makes his way to Ground Gamma, curious on how the race would work. How big will the race groups be? Will they just have to find him or bring him back to the start point? He guess he'll find out soon enough. He spots All Might waiting at the entrance for him, and quickens his place a little. No. The students will be broken up into three groups of five, and one group of four. The student who brings you back to the start point wins. They can take you from each other to give everyone a fair chance at winning. This is going to be interesting. All Might holds up a small device and a piece of paper before continuing. This is a tracking beacon, so the students have a way of finding you. And this is a copy of the team's roster. Now, you can go hide anywhere in the facility. I must go fetch this class and explain the rules. See you soon, young Midoriya. All Might leaps away, leaving him by himself. Izuku finds a place to hide quickly. Not sure how long he has until the first group starts. He looks at the roster as he waits. The first to go up is a team of four, consisting of Ida, Ojiro, Ashido, and Saro. Izuku thinks Saro will probably win. His quirk is extremely useful for this terrain like this. The second team is Ayomama, Shoji, Jiro, Koda, and Hagakuri. He wagers that Shoji will be the winner for this round. He's got the most fitting quirk out of all of them. The third team is Kirishima, Kaminari, Sato, Ashido, and Shinso. Izuku's a little unsure who the winner of this matchup will be. Most likely not Kaminari or Shinso, though. The last team makes Izuku pale a little. It consists of Udaraka, Bakugo, Todoroki, Tokoyami, and Yarirozu, the top students in the class who have the best control over their quirks. Izuku has no idea who will win this one. The team matchups actually make a lot of sense. Everyone is on a team where they're matched pretty evenly with their opponents. Izuku snaps his head up when he hears an air horn go off. He assumes that means that the race has begun. It's not long before he hears the sound of running. Anita comes around the corner, heading straight for him. He almost within arm's reach when the tape wraps around Izuku, and he's wrenched up into the sky. Saro catches him and carries him under an arm, while using his quirk with the other. Izuku can see Ida running below them, and has no way of getting up here to grab him. It's no time at all before they are at the finish line, and Saro wins the race. He places Izuku gently on the ground and unwraps the tapes that he had used to grab him. The others arrive and look exhausted from trying to catch up with Saro. Good job, young Saro. We'll give young Midori a few minutes to hide before we send the next team to rescue him. Izuku turns and walks in the opposite direction from where he had been hiding before, seeing how far away he'd get before the horn is sounding. He sits down to wait once he hears it. Surprisingly, it's Koda who arrives first. He gently throws him over his shoulder before turning and going back in the direction he'd come from. The position is uncomfortable for Izuku. The way he's bent, pulling at his stitches in his torso. It's not long before Koda stops, and Izuku knows they're not back at the start yet. 
But for your ears, Midoriya, Izuku complies, knowing what's coming. Jiro sends a loud sound wave their way, and Kota drops to his knees before letting go of Izuku. Jiro waltzes over and helps him up, instead of picking him up like the others had so far. She grabs his left hand and pulls him along with her. They both duck when a beam shoots at them, and Ayamama is blocking their path. However, before he could do anything else, Izuku is grabbed from behind and tossed onto Shoji's back. He covers him with his arms and starts running, making it back to the finish line in no time. Nice work, Shoji. You used Ayamama's attempt as a distraction quite well. You best be on your way, Midoriya. Izuku nods and walks back in the same direction he'd come from, taking a few different turns and getting hopelessly lost. Good thing someone's coming to rescue him. It takes a bit longer for anyone to find him, likely getting confused in the maze of pipes. It's Ashido who finds him, wrapping her tongue around his middle and jumping high. Sato rams into her mid-jump, and she nearly loses her grip on him. She lands on a building ungracefully, and Izuku slams into his side. Thankfully for his leg, it's his right side that hits the building. But the hit aggravates his torso, and he knows he'll have a few bruises from where his body made contact with the building. Izuku wonders what's happening, since he's just been hanging there for a few minutes. Ashido's tongue jerks slightly and starts to pull him up. When he reaches the top, he finds it's Kaminari who's pulling him up. Sato and Ashido are both laying on the roof, groaning in pain. They'll be fine. I only used a little electricity. A charge bolt. Yeah, what is it? Kaminari's eyes go blank once he answers Shinso and his friend comes over and helps him get the rest of the tongue off of him. Shinso is just leaning him to the stairs when the door slams open and Kirishima is there, locking the exit. You think you could let us by? Shinso tries to use his quirk on him, but Kirishima wisely keeps his mouth shut. Shinso lunges for him, but Kirishima simply hardens his arm and blocks a blow. They continue like that for a few minutes until Shinso wears himself out, and Kirishima shoves him to the ground. Get on, Midoriya. He'll get back in a second. Kirishima is crouching in front of him, facing away. Izuku sends a regretful smile to Shinzo before climbing onto Kirishima's back. Kirishima starts running immediately, and they don't face anyone else on the way back to the finish line. Nice work, young Kirishima. The boy beams as he places Izuku on the ground. Izuku decides he should speak up before All Might addresses him. All Might, Sensei? Yes, young Midoriya. Do you think I could have an extra few minutes to hide? I feel like I'll need it for the last round. All Might gives him an assertive glance before nodding, gesturing for him to get going. Izuku walks as quickly as his body lets him, wincing as he goes. He has a feeling he'll be in a fair amount of pain tonight. All Might stays true to his word, and still hasn't sounded the air horn. Izuku makes it to the other side of the facility before he sits down. He's glad he won't be walking back to the start line. The air horn sounds, and Izuku braces himself. Oh. <laughs> you know what? This actually makes sense. Okay. No. Okay. It said of hiding and rescues. S. S plural. Plural. I forget plurals. My bad. It's my lisp. It doesn't let me say s s s s s s s s s it does. I don't have an S lisp. At least I don't think so. Maybe I do. I don't know. I have a lisp. I don't know what I can't pronounce or can. Uh, comfortable is not one of them. Um, but, oh, okay. So chapter 30 is called Of Rescues in a Not-So-Friendly Competition. Summary. Who will be the victor from the most competitive team out there? I'm scared. I, who, I, who do I want to predict? Who do I want to predict? Okay. Mm, Bakuga. Bakuga. Mm-hmm, Bakuga. I've submitted my answer. Bakuga. Bakuga. Also, can we get a little more Shindeku moments, please? Thank you. I'm joking. Uh, I'm pretty sure Slowburn is one of the fucking, uh, what's it called? Um, tags? Yep, Slowburn is one of the tags. Right next to my, uh, minor character death and Dabi is Todoroki, uh, Todoroki Toya. Uh, when was this made? Oh, 2020, 2021. I don't know if that's when it was revealed. I think that was around the time when it was revealed. No, season six of it was, no. Yes, season six is when it was revealed. No. Yes, season six. So that was before it was revealed. It was revealed in 2002, 2003, right? Right? 
I think. I don't know, okay? Don't, don't cut at me. I don't know. But, um, notes. Hey, hey, glad to have you back, guys. This chapter is part two with the rescue training race. We've got some more confusing Bakugo. Hello. Woo, ooh, we get more Bakugo. Maybe I'll be able to crack this one down. Maybe next chapter we'll have a, a whole echo psychology corner where I tell you about his trauma and why it reacts the way it reacts. Or maybe not. Anyways, as always, my raindrops, make sure to eat, sleep, drink water, take your meds. Have a wonderful day or night. Link to my Discord server and socials are down in the description. Subscribe to see more of my content, and thank you so much for watching.